I wanted to be more than try to act. Of course, there were challenges. I couldn't very well be a heroin snorting, knife wielding uh, junkie. <laughs> Hi all, it's Silas Ram, AsianCultureVulture.com. We're here at the Cannes Film Festival and we're with the incredibly talented actors Anya Sengupta, who plays Renika, and Amara Shetty, who plays Devika in the film The Shameless, which showed in the Uncertain Regards section here. Welcome to AsianCultureVulture.com. How are you doing? Thank you, very well. Thank you, very well. So tell us uh, a little bit about your characters and how you got into the process of reprising these amazing women, actually. To start with, it was incredibly exciting for me to embody a character like Renuka. And uh, because I think uh, now more than ever, actually, I mean, that's what attracts me to try to tell stories that we are repeatedly being stopped from telling. And that's important to me. Uh, there was a bit of a revolutionary, not a bit of a, a huge revolutionary spirit in a woman like Renuka that really drew me to that. In terms of the prep, I tried to... I mean, I'm a first-time actor, actually. Yeah, it's incredible. So, that you, you're not... Uh, you're, hardly, you're a student film or something. If you're pretty yeah, exactly. That's, it goes 15 years back. So I think I kind of like instinct-based prep. I uh, hoped that whatever I was doing would work. Uh, I tried to... I prepped really hard. I geeked out in all the ways that I thought would work and uh, just jumped right in, actually. And there was, of course, a bit of uh, the physical work as well as the mental work, both of it. And uh, after a point, it uh, kind of started... Uh, everything felt like character work, whether I set out to do that or not. You know, And that was very exciting for me to actually feel that day to day. And uh, yeah, and... To, because I wanted to be more than try to act mm. the character. That come through, yeah. uh, that's what I wanted to be, but I mean, of course there were challenges. I couldn't very well be a heroin snorting, uh, mm. knife wielding uh, junkie <laughs> in my life. But uh, apart from the extremes, I tried my best. Uh, I found uh, it was very attractive to me that she's this kind of a lone wolf kind of a character. I see her as like a feminist icon. I, I can see her being one because it's so powerful. That and she should the be. The way she leads know? her life on yeah. her own terms yeah. and yeah. doesn't make any compromise. Yeah, and I, I just loved the character so much. I completely fell in love with the character. I found me, uh, the actor, wanting to like repeatedly stand up for her. There was zero judgment that I felt toward the character because I don't think as an actor I can really judge the character that I'm embodying. And, uh, yeah, she frustrated me, sure. Uh, but, you know, I, I tried to give her love, patience and support. And Mara, your, your character? Well, uh, the first time I read the brief, it was so intricate, so detailed, that I really hoped that I would crack this audition. I would crack this test and I would get Devika. There were three steps that I took. 21 days get the habits right, note it down, go through the script, get the habits right, what could she possibly do? Uh, I, I also had an idea of uh, the fact that she wears layers. So I started to um, wear layers too. <laughs> uh, things like that. And the wrapping, did, did, when you, had you done? Kind of I wrapping? actually uh, reached out to a rapper called MC Him, who teaches at uh, the Dharavi Project, Film School School Project. So um, I had worked in NGOs before this, and while I was also doing theatre. So this, and hence I, made some, I met some wonderful artists who are giving, giving it back to the community. So I, when I spoke to MC Him, he actually ta taught me how to write a rap not how to perform a rap. So my understanding was with Devika, she has not yet um, come to being herself. So my aim was to be in the middle, like bring a balance of sorts. She wants to be a rapper, but that does not mean that she is actually a great rapper. <laughs> yes. So the idea was to make sure that I can write a rap, which, which actually the raps that I'm no. actually rapping, those are originals. 
रेत की तरह फिसलता है वक्त पर रेत से कोई रिश्ता नहीं आसमा है धुंधला धुंधली है नजर पर आसमां से कोई रिश्ता नहीं भड़कती आग अंगाज वाला शलभ पर हवा ने है रुख मोड़ा तुम्हें बोला था तू नहीं देख ओके ओके ठीक है डिड यू स्पेंड टाइम विद विद सेक्स वर्कर्स और देवदासी यू नो नॉट एक्चुअल टाइम व्हिच इज व्हाट आई वुड हैव रियली लाइक्ड बट यू नो इट्स द the logistics take over i mean it's not like we can very well prep for a year i mean i would have loved to do that so try to go for the second best option so a lot of reading a lot of watching a lot of informing myself and uh, because i felt a sort of a artistic responsibility as well you these are real people they are uh, yeah and uh, even when i first read the script because the system works in a way that you know something like sex work it pretty much benefits everyone else except the sex workers and uh, so it was important for me to inform myself better and not just at a superficial level sure what well, is you kind of both for very, very i mean it's just slightly different obviously in the cycle of the film and uh, the characters the level she's very innocent really and so she doesn't she knows what's ahead of her but she can't uh, it's difficult to process and then you arrive and then mm. she she goes oh she's looking at a completely new path which is great which is the idea of liberation and breaking free from that cycle so you two to, did you have a lot of time together because there's a good chemistry on screen and um it's it's got to be convincing otherwise it it feels a little bit you know and yeah. were you ever concerned about the sl- kind of there's a bit of an age difference and uh i definitely was because there were i was i was a little uh scared because of a predatory angle that might come through and i'm like just as in I the film i didn't feel that in the film but i think no it was my concern say and uh, as i mean even as people i am i'm a good decade older than her so there was a sense of responsibility that i felt i mean yes we are trying to tell a story but we are she's also a young girl and you know i mean i i feel that that that's just a setting inside me i have to uh, take care i have to be responsible about it and like i said even with the research we i would have liked more time but i think we made the most of what we had sahi hai jail mein kyu thi ho gaya kuch kaand in a story which is uh, seemingly so dark the light of it is the love that they share and that was a priority to you know bring that through Had you seen the film before was that the first first time wow so what was that well, how was it how, what was it like watching It's the so film so old and thing wasn't it i don't even know i mean the, the minute it finished she was sitting on my left constantly on my right and the minute, minute it finished it was just instinctive i just like scooped her up in my arms and i felt her completely crumble into my arms you know and yeah i think we're still kind of unpacking the, it the moment we hugged oh that was it Uh, I could uh, feel her sobbing and then I <laughs> broke down too and the moment Constantine saw her sobbing Constantine was like ah well it's like a dream it must be like a dream because you're both uh, quite new to acting and this is an indie film and then landing up here in the biggest film festival and all the attention oh, and I mean how how do you process that I mean being here and um you know getting all this attention and love yeah i mean just taking it for what it is you know enjoying it and uh, living in the moment and uh, then see where it like takes us it's very daunting and just to enjoy honest. it like that's literally what we were talking about earlier in the morning i'm like let's just stay in it enjoy it and uh, i think it is a you have other projects now lined up or you you no, nothing concrete enough right to really talk about but i hope there will be enough to talk about pretty soon <laughs> so i mean my final question is a little bit i don't know how you want to but the the politics in the film and whether we're showing india are you how do you feel about that and i mean i've been uh, getting asked this a lot by everyone <laughs> and not surprisingly and what i keep saying is that it's not just it's not even just in india you know the whole world is yeah. moving in a certain direction so of course there will be majority uh, of people in power trying to suppress it but that's also what the story is and i think now more than ever that the more you're being stopped to tell a story the more we should take on the mantle and tell it great thank you so much thank you so much and thank you 